Hello everyone and welcome to a camping vlog as you probably guessed by the title. So we're currently in Royal Tunbridge Wells camping with Kate and Oliver. Look at the beautiful view around me, very excited. But the clips you are about to see are actually from last weekend when James and I went on a camping retreat with James's parents and we did yoga and a gong bath. That's the first time I've ever done one of those and the dogs were really, really good. So I got some footage of that weekend and I'm gonna insert it in here. Um, so yeah, back from the camping with James's parents, um, then we had a few days at home, a couple of busy days, I did another vlog in between, which you should have already seen, it's the Fancy Frocks, Fran <laughs> Fancy Frocks vlog, go and check it out. And now it is Friday and Kate and James and I just drove, sorry, there are flying ants everywhere and they're like in my hair. <sighs> And now it is Friday and Kate, James and I just drove from Croydon area to Royal Tunbridge Wells to come and camp here for the weekend. Kate has just popped back to the house to pick up Oliver. We came here, set everything up while Oliver was at work and Kate's gone to go and pick him up. So James and I just put up our teeny tiny bed tent um, and we've got the big tent and I'm going to show you around. We are hoping that the weather will stay as you can see it is. It's lovely kind of bluey grey skies, lots of cloud and it is very warm, but it's like good warm. It's supposed to get to 37 degrees this weekend. <laughs> These flying ants are crazy. Um, yeah, it's supposed to get to 37 degrees this weekend. It was 35 earlier, but then the cloud came over and it's now dropped to about 28, which is, fingers crossed, a lot better for the dogs. So, and it means we might actually get to go out and do stuff rather than just like hanging around by the tent and sunbathing. As I said, this is the field. The gate is that gap, the, well, these two gaps in the trees over there, but it's like over a rise. There's some picnic benches over there. And then there's some other campers, three sets of campers that have just arrived. And there's a big space. And then this is us. This is gonna be our little seating, eating and cooking area. This is the huge bell tent. 
excuse the mess, we still have to put the awning up, the extension of the bell tent to have a little entrance way, but we're going to do that when Oliver gets here. And then that's mine and James's little sleeping pod. And how beautiful is this area? I've now just walked just slightly behind the bell tent just to show you these views. So yeah, we are going to have a chilled weekend. It's currently, Jams, what time is it? 20 past, six. 20 past six on Friday and I don't think we have to check out from here until like after lunchtime on Sunday. Um, there's a place locally that has pedalos that we can take the dogs on as well so that would be really cool but as I say if it's super hot tomorrow we're going to be sensible and not take the dogs anywhere where they could overheat because heat exhaustion is really dangerous for your dogs. If you don't know about heat exhaustion and you have a dog look it up and yeah we're just gonna chill, enjoy ourselves, enjoy this beautiful campsite keep it as tidy as we possibly can because I'm a proper tidy camper um, and yeah I'll just take you along with as much of it as I can and keep recording memories because I already know that I'm gonna love looking back at this weekend and looking back at the clips um, of the weekend with James's parents that you just saw as well. So quickly thought I'd show you this while it's still light this is mine and James's little one-man sleeping pod so you come in and then we've got a matching duvet set obviously and then a sleeping bag over the top to keep us nice and warm and it's gonna be snuggly <laughs> hi may i help you we picked up this thingy at the camping shop on the way here and i'm really excited to see how it goes up it's like a air-filled beanbag thing. Keep running! <laughs> Run back this way! A little bit more air! There, close it! Roll it down! <laughs> that was so silly! <laughs> Hello. Oh. Is it good? Does it work? <laughs> that was a good but that was like a fiver well impressed no I don't think it works like that I don't really think you have to run in a straight line How happy are you with your marshmallow right now? You can show me it again. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I have literally 
barely spoken to you on this vlog. It is now Sunday morning and the last time I actually spoke to you was Friday evening. The dogs are running around everywhere. Archie's stuck in the tent door. Archie, say hello to the vlog. Archie, say hello to the vlog. Oh, good boy. Mm -hmm. James is still snuggling down here. He is awake. He's pretending to be asleep. Mm. His little head. <laughs> And my camera cut out, obviously. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's now Sunday morning and we did basically nothing yesterday. I got some clips of what we were doing, but it was 34 degrees in the UK. So all we did all day was we got up in the morning, we made some breakfast, and then we kept filling up buckets of water and dunking the dogs in the water and we stayed in the shade. James and I had a little walk around one of the fields near here with the dogs. We literally did that all day. We just chilled, we like listened to music, we just, I, we didn't sunbathe, I was gonna say we sunbathed, we didn't, we shade bathed. <laughs> just made sure that the dogs were really, really cool and happy as can be. Oh, Angie looks so happy as can be. So happy as can be. Good boy. Look at him. Do you see whether he... Yeah, he's in shot. Good boy. When he's outside running around with Blue Bear, as always. Um, and then in the evening, we went to a really lovely pub. You will have seen the food. Charles, do you remember what the pub was called? Mm. No, neither do I. I realise the light is better this way. Um, but yeah, we went to a really lovely pub. We had some food and then we came back and we had a campfire and we stargazed and James got out his stargazing app that he has on his phone and we scanned the sky and it was just lovely. Um, it's now like half eight in the morning. You don't have to check out from here till four. And then there's a local garden centre near here and they've got a pet's corner and I've never been to a pet's corner and it's like literally on our drive home so I want to stop there and just have a look, see what they've got. 